I remember a case of getting on the tail of two aircraft. Uh, as you know, in the, the fighter world, you fly in pairs, and the number two looks after the number one. And they were so well disciplined that uh, I was lining up my aircraft to shoot down this uh, number two, and I was only about uh, 50 feet away from him, and he was, instead of breaking off and leaving his number one uh, to be shot down, uh, he preferred to die. Beginning in 1943, Allied bombers attack enemy targets around the clock. Francis Gabreski will use his experience with the Polish squadrons to good advantage. Flying escort to American bombers, Gabreski is at the controls of a new P-47 Thunderbolt. I was as, just like a kid with a new toy. I was very excited. I was over France during that uh, period of time. And as I looked down, saw a bunch of 109s uh, in the area milling around, and I was in perfect position then because I was between the sun and the 109, so I came in with altitude to my advantage, and I caught this 109 in a climb, came in from behind, and I didn't slow down. I just went right on by with my eight guns blazing and practically blew up the airplane. The airplane went over on the side and uh, he hit the ground. As the war in Europe enters its final phase, air superiority belongs to the Allies. The internationals sense that their flags will rise again in triumph. But more fighter pilots will die before victory is won. I was privileged to fly with some very outstanding, unique, and wonderful people. And a lot of them, of course, didn't survive the war. And after the war, I felt that was very tragic. I went to see their next of kin, and I realized that these boys had no grave, no memorial. They'd just been blown away. It's very difficult to explain the spirit that you found uh, throughout, the, throughout the war. That um, It was a pretty hard going. A lot of people got killed. But everybody got, made the best of it. We had, the camaraderie was terrific. Because I think that to begin with, the mishmash they had all nationalities, made it, it went for a huge, marvelous spirit. And it was a magnificent sort of feeling of esprit de corps engendered by the, the multitudes of nations all gathered together with a common cause. The international volunteers spoke a universal language of courage and dedication. Theirs, is a special kind of glory. <laughs>